Hi everyone, this is the Bearded Guitarist. Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to learn how to deliver a sad feeling creating an easy finger-picking arpeggio on guitar. The arpeggio sounds like this. Alright guys, so just before we jump into this lesson, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you enjoy these videos. So, uh, the arpeggio that I was playing is based on four different chords. The first chord is a A minor add 9, which is a normal A minor adding the 9th, which is going to be the 4th fret of the G string, and I'm playing that with my little finger. The first finger stays on the 1st fret, 2nd string, and the 2nd finger is on the 2nd fret of the D string, like this. This is my 1st chord, A minor, add 9. Then I'm keeping all of these 3 fingers there, I'm just moving the bass from the open A that I was playing before to the G, which is going to be, this G is going to be uh, the 3rd fret on the low E string. Right, so the chord is exactly the same, the A minor add 9 or A minor 9 with a G on the bass, the G represents the 7, so it's the third inversion of this chord. Now from here I'm changing a little bit the shape of my hand because I'm going to play now an F sharp half diminished or F sharp minus 7 flat 5. The way I play this is with my second finger playing the second fret F sharp on the low E string then I skip the A string and I'm playing the second fret on the D and G strings with my third and fourth fingers and then my first finger is playing the first fret on the uh, B string, on the second string and um, the arpeggio sounds like this Okay, so this is the chord that I'm using, the third chord that I'm using in this chord progression From here I don't move the third and the fourth finger, so I use them as an anchor. I just go uh, with the second finger, the middle finger on the first fret of the B string, and my first finger goes on the F, so the first fret on the low E string. And in this way I'm playing a beautiful voicing for an F major 7. Now, how long was I playing each chord? I'm playing each arpeggio twice, so each chord takes two bars, but on the last chord, the F major 7, I only play one bar and then I leave for the second bar only the bass uh, while the rest of the chord rings. So all together what I was playing was basically a double stroke with my thumb on the uh, picking hand so I was playing the A and D strings both with my thumb and then at the bottom three strings I was playing the G, uh, B and E strings with my index, middle and ring fingers so I was playing these are the first five notes and then I'm playing second, third and second strings again with middle, index and middle. So the eight notes that I was playing in the A minor at nine are A, D, G, B, E, B, G, B strings. Okay. I repeat this twice. Then I move, I leave everything there, but I just move my thumb on my picking hand from the A to the G string and I play the same arpeggio. Twice as well. So this, this is the A minor 9 over uh, G. When I play this, the strings that I'm playing, since I'm skipping the A strings, are going to be E, D, G. Then I move to my F sharp half diminished and I'm playing exactly the same string. Right? Then when I move to F major 7, I play the same strings on the first bar. And on the second bar, with my thumb, I'm only playing the low E string first fret, which is the F. So all together nice and slowly, this arpeggio sounds like this. And then you can 
can start again. So my advice is to start very slowly and in general to keep it quite slow because it sounds even more sad and dramatic, which is the feeling that we want to deliver with this arpeggio. Um, the reason why it works so well, it's because we are creating um, a movement on the bass. We are moving from A to G, F sharp and F. And on top, we are keeping this high E string ringing for all of the chords. So that sounds so good. And for that reason, I would suggest actually to play a sort of accent, so a slightly louder note with your ring finger when you hit the high E string uh, in these arpeggios, because it sounds more like the place where we are supposed to have an accent, you know, as a first and second part of this arpeggio. First part, second part. So it's a nice sound to alternate with the bass, basically. And once you are comfortable with the chords and with the finger picking pattern, you can try to uh, create even more dynamic in what you're playing. So you can play quieter and whenever you want louder. Especially when you change the chord. And obviously feel free to play a little bit with the dynamics uh, but also with the different strings that you can play in this uh, in these chords in this arpeggio and maybe you want to repeat some of these notes or you want to change some of them feel free to create your own progression this is just an example of how you can deliver uh, this sort of um, dramatic and sad feeling with an arpeggio over a few easy chords all right guys, so I hope this video helped you to create your own uh, chord progression to deliver this uh, sad and dramatic feeling. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned or played in this video, please leave any questions in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to check out all the other videos that I release uh, here on YouTube. This was The Bearded Guitarist, thanks for watching, I'll be seeing you next time.